Okay, so audio lingualism for um, EL 119 or language learning materials development. So again, I am teacher Alma So what are the lessons to be covered under today's discussion? So the first one is introduction or the meaning of audiolingualism, its aims and proponents. And number two, the learning material, which is audiolingual practice activity. And our topic for today is conjunction. Okay, so for number three, conclusion or the generalization of the topic. Next. Okay, so introduction, a quick overview about audio lingualism approach. So audio lingualism is a method foreign language teaching where, emphasis, where the emphasis is on um, learning grammatical and phonological structure, especially for speaking and listening. It is based on behaviorism and so relies on formation as basis for learning through a great deal of mechanical repetition. So basically, it focuses on the speaking and listening skills of the learners. So audiolingualism method was, uh, which was proposed by American linguists in 1950, it was around the World War II, um, was developed from the principle that a language is first of all a system of sound for social communication. Writing is a secondary derivative system for the record for the recording of spoken language. That was according to Carroll, 1963. So another um, definition of audiolingual lingualism is audiolingual method or approach considered language simply as a form of behavior to be learned through the formation of correct speech habits. That was according to Turnberry 2000. And in other words, the goal of this method is to form native language habits and learners. That was according to Dendrenos 1994. So audiolingual method aims to develop the communicative competence of students through dialogues. Dialogues and pattern drills that students need to repeat are used to form habits in learners that will allow them to develop quick and automatic responses. I have mentioned earlier um, this approach or the learners learn the language through the use of dialogues and drills. Okay, next. Okay, so language, uh, learning materials. So for today's activity, we're going to discuss about, or we're going to learn about conjunctions. So conjunction used to connect um, ideas between ideas in the sentences. All right, so for um, audio lingualism practice activity, I have here an example of sentences and pictures to help the learners understand better um, our topic. So first sentence is, excuse me, is your dog male or female? Sorry. So, the students uh, must analyze the sentence and as for this activity, they're going to choose between the given conjunction on what, um, which is the correct conjunction to use in this sentence. So it was like a substitute drill wherein there were given, they were given uh, choices that the student must 
pick the right one to use that in the sentence. Okay, so for this activity or for this sentence, the choices are and or but. By the way, conjunctions that I am um, providing here are the basic conjunction or the fun choice, which is which stands for 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 um, and nor but or um, yet and so. So for this sentence, the correct conjunction to be used is the word or because it, the sentence represents choices. The next one is I am very hungry, blank, the fridge is empty. So the choices are so, but, yet, and the correct conjunction to be used is the word but because it used to connect um, two sentences with opposite or two ideas that are opposite. Next. Okay, so for the conclusion or generaliz generalization, um, audiolingualism is an approach to language teaching that aims to develop uh, the communicative competence of the student using dialogues and reels. The use of dialogues and reels is effective in foreign language teaching as they lead the students to produce speech. Repetition of the dialogues and the reels will enable students to respond quickly and accurately in the spoken language. So the good thing about um, uh, audiolingualism approach is that it focuses on the accuracy rather than the fluency. Okay, that's all for today's discussion. I hope you learned something. And here are my resources. 